everyone. How are you? Welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. I am out here at Lone Wolf Mountain. This is a random lunch and chat. It's good to see you all. <laughs> the last time that we did a random lunch and chat was right before my sinus surgery. I had a septi septopla what is it called? I had a septoplasty done. Basically, I had a deviated septum. I went to the ear, nose, throat doctor. The guy fixed me up. I am eight days after the operation. So if you're considering this operation, this is what I'm like eight days later. I don't know if this is typical or not, but I feel really, really good. I really do. Out here in the mountains, it's cold. It's about 27 degrees right now. Really, it's not that cold, but there's a winter storm coming in. So there's a lot of humidity. So it's like a, a, a damp, cold air. Just makes everything that much worse. Yeah. Good friends, some warm coffee. This time, Black Rifle. Good stuff. A viewer sent me this mug. I love it. Unfortunately for Black Rifle, I put all sorts of stuff in this, including Taster's Nasty. <laughs> that would probably make the company very unhappy to hear about, but um, that's only because Taster's Nasty is so foul. <laughs> I love it. Hey, I know what you all are looking for. Cheers. <laughs> of course, I want to thank you all very much for the kind messages, the emails, and so on concerning the surgery. I really appreciate it. A lot of people wrote in sharing their experiences. There were some people giving advice, and I appreciate it big time. With this episode, I'll talk about the surgery, and I'll talk about some other things that I mentioned in the previous random lunch and chat. So in many ways, this is a follow-up of sorts. With the previous episode, I thought it was going to be roughly two weeks before I had my surgery. That was not the case. I ended up having it just a few days later, and that's because that was the only time the doctor could do it in the office. Now, just in case you didn't see that episode, I'll touch upon what happened exactly. I've had a deviated septum my entire life. I went to the ear, nose, throat doctor. He wanted to correct it. I said, yes, let's do that. I, I just want to be able to breathe, right, for so many reasons. So, because I do not have health insurance, they gave me the codes, I called the hospital because the doctor would perform the operation at the hospital. So, I was told by the hospital that the cash price, this includes a 30% discount, $34,000 plus the anesthesia fee plus the doctor fee. Of course, that's nonsense. That's 30% off as well. How crazy is that? Anyway, so called the ear, nose, throat doctor back again. He said that they could do it in the office for $1,700. It was like $1,795 or something like that. So I guess $1,800, but that's the option that I went with. In truth, I am so glad that I did. Not only because I didn't have to spend 40 grand, right? How nonsensical is that? But because I didn't have to be put to sleep, the healing process is much faster. And also because I was awake for the entire thing, the doctor goes slower, he explains things. I had virtually no bleeding after this operation. I have, and still do have some drainage, like my sinuses are kind of draining, that sort of thing. I never did have any blood. I never did have any sort of packing up in my nose. I did have some stents up there for a few days. Countless people wrote in, in regards to the packing and how awful that was. So luckily I didn't have that. In truth, I really haven't had any pain from this operation. The stents that they put in, basically hold the nose open, whatnot, and they have little shoots in them so you can breathe through those. That was a little bit uncomfortable, only because those stents, these pieces of plastic, were sewn to like, just like the inside of my nose here to hold them into place. All in all, it wasn't painful, but if I would talk, it would hurt a little bit. And if I, if I was to like take a big bite of something, it would pull on those stitches and that would hurt quite a bit. For some reason, when I'm sleeping, I like to talk in my sleep. I guess I'm making faces and stuff. So I would go to sleep, wake up, and my nose would hurt so bad. But for about an hour, then it would feel better. <laughs> Susie said that I'd be laughing, talking in my sleep, and I could feel every bit of that in the morning. But really, all in all, very little pain from the operation. I cannot complain at all. Being awake for the process was something else. It really was. <laughs> An hour before the operation took place, I took a Valium, which um, was a really interesting experience for me. I'm not somebody who takes many pills. I don't know that much about drugs or anything like that. But I took a Valium, I went to the doctor's office, 
and immediately I could tell a difference. I didn't feel funny or anything like that, but I had no concerns, no anxiety. I walked in there and I'm pretty sure if they said, hey, we're, we're going to cut your head off, is that okay? I probably would have said, okay, that's fine. I mean, no worries, no concerns. I did take some sort of pain pill before the operation started. Uh, a Percocet or something. I'm not even sure what that is, but I had Percocets after the operation. They really didn't do a whole lot. Like, uh, after a night of talking in my sleep, my nose would hurt in the morning. I would take one of those and it really wouldn't do anything. I found that three extra strength Tylenol did more than those Percocets. So, I don't know. Maybe that helps you if you have the surgery. Take a Percocet and the three Tylenol if you need it. Went into the doctor's office, sat down. They explained what they were going to do. There was three people on deck. There was like uh, two nurses and the doc. And I just sat there. We talked, had a good old time. The doctor did his thing. The oddest part of it was like the breaking of the bone and the way that that sounds while you're awake. It sounds like someone's taking like a bag of chips and just crunching it inside of your head. All in all, there wasn't anything to it. Talking about the volume for a second, they took my blood pressure and also like my heartbeat. I think I was like, 50 beats per minute, something like that. I mean, that's how calm, cool, and collective I was. Blood pressure was normal and all that stuff, but yeah, not even elevated for the operation. The volume definitely worked, no doubt about it. All right, sandwich time. Mm -hmm. After the operation, it was five days later that I had the stents taken out. The stent part wasn't bad. The stitches was pretty sharp. They popped one of the stitches on the side of my face and brought tears to my eyes. That was rather painful, but as soon as they pulled all that stuff out, I've been good to go. No pain, no real discomfort at all. Drainage is still an issue. There's been just a little bit of blood inside of the nose where everything's like healing up. But as you all can hear, I sound pretty good. I'm still a little bit nasal and that's because of the drainage, but oh man. I can breathe so good. And right now there's still quite a bit of swelling and there will be swelling, I believe for about three months. They said it was gonna be about three months before I really, really can breathe good. About a week later, I breathe better now than I have ever done before. <laughs> I'm just so happy with the surgery. I'll tell you what, it's awesome. Sensitivity, that is something that we have to talk about. Um, the doctor carterized some things, some of the wounds inside of my nose there. And that was an interesting process. He had to hold one instrument and the nurse had to take another instrument and touch that for this thing to work. And also they had to ground me. They put this big pad on my leg. So the doctor's holding it, the nurse comes over, touches it, and that would seal the wound. Every single time they would touch those things together, I would feel like, uh, a very strong sensation in the tips of my teeth. There is a nerve up here in this area that becomes very sensitive with this operation. So I would feel that in the teeth and anytime that I had some pain in my nose, I also felt it in my teeth. And the only comfort that I would get would be to drink something warm like coffee or tea or even just taking like a, a little heating bag or something and just putting it on my face like this. That was enough to give me the comfort that I needed. And that lasted really up until the point I got the stents taken out, so five days. So if you have this done, you're having that weird teeth pain, teeth numbness, teeth sensitivity, whatever, just some warm liquids, that really does help. It's a good excuse to drink coffee <laughs> as well. As I mentioned before, it's about 27 degrees Fahrenheit, very damp, it's a really wet cold. This is my first real experience being in the outdoors since I had the operation done. Nothing really to talk about. There's some like air sensitivity with my nose. Uh, at one point in time, I felt it in my teeth just a little bit, but as it stands right now, I'm great. I feel comfortable. I've been kind of curious, like how is the cold weather going to affect this and as it stands right now, not too bad. Will it change when it really gets cold? I have no idea, we will find out. I am on light duty for the next couple of weeks, in, in truth, for the next month at least. So, yeah. For real hardcore, heavy loadout adventures, that will have to be basically just pushed to the back for now. I will definitely be getting out for some winter trips. We'll be doing some truck camping stuff. 
but I will have to take it easy for a little bit. I don't want to mess this up. This was $1,700. <laughs> for me, $1,700 is a lot of money. Tell you what, Susie, thank you very much for the sandwich. This is awesome. Tell you, everybody, being out here in the woods feels so good. It's only been a week stuck inside of the house because of this, but that's enough. Being out here makes such a difference. I mean, already I feel better. Even then, when I was at the house this morning, I feel more open. I feel stronger and energized. It's something about the forest. Just being out here in nature, when I pulled up this morning, there was a bunch of deer in the woods. <sighs> It was also beautiful this morning. It's not beautiful anymore. As I mentioned, we have a winter storm coming in. I believe about six inches of snow tonight, and then tomorrow night, another four, and then who knows after that. I'm hoping to get out tomorrow in the snow and maybe film something, maybe a short hike video, maybe a lunch, something like that. We will see. As far as light duty goes, what does that mean? Let's see, no working out for the first two weeks. After that, I could do roughly 25% of what I normally do, like as far as weights go, no straining at all. All in all, that's not bad to be able to breathe, right? <laughs> oh man. I'm seeing something up here on this hill and I can't quite make it out. It almost looks like a tree uprooted and I'm seeing just like some of the dirt that's been kicked up. We will have to go check that out here in just a minute. By the way, everyone, I did mention that I had broken my phone. Many people wrote in giving me suggestions and I looked into all of them. And unfortunately, for whatever reason, the Samsung Note 9, maybe because of the curved glass, is a very expensive fix. The cheapest that I found in my area was $300. And I called everyone. Even Staples fixes phone screens and it was super expensive. So I ended up selling that phone for parts and I actually sold that for a pretty good price. I sold it for about 200 bucks. That's not bad, but I did go with an iPhone. It's been a long time since I've used one. So what I was looking at was actually a rock. Right now I'm just walking around the property, checking things out. I see some fallen trees, lots of good firewood. That's what I see. It's been a while since I've been over to this side. Let's go check on things, shall we? Everything looks good. It's ready for the next adventure, I say. What do you all think? I set this campsite up sometime last year. I think it was last year, maybe the year before, something like that. It's been a while since I've been out here. It's been a while since I've used it. It needs a little bit of TLC. Remember the table that I built over here? That was awesome. I guess actually that was a couple of years ago, now that I'm thinking about it. It needs to be rebuilt. Heavy snowfall basically destroyed it. It's getting dark, cloudy. The temperature's dropping still. Snow is on the way. In fact, let's check the radar here. I'm far enough away from home that I'd rather beat the snow because, I mean, it's so far away. It's about 50 miles an hour at regular pace, speed, I guess. It is on the way, my friends. It probably would be a good idea for me to get out of here now. It looks like it's snowing down in Asheville. That's about three hours from here, something like that. Originally, I was going to do more filming, but I think I'm done for now. A wise man stays ahead of the weather. It won't be long and it'll be time to do some antler hunting. I found that one some time back. I want to find another. That would be sweet. That happened many years ago. I came across that one. In fact, I almost sat on it. Came out here to use the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, I know. Weird, but... That's how it happened. Cheers, coffee time. Let's see what the exact forecast is for this snowstorm. By the way, when it comes to the nose surgery thing and doing this while you're awake, 
that is very uncommon. I mean, some people will do it, some doctors will, but it is really more on the uncommon side. The doctors that I spoke to, I actually spoke to two, the guy who did the surgery and the guy who took the stents out. The doctor who took the stents out, he said that I was one tough hombre to have this done and said that he had had the surgery done himself before, not while he was awake, and he said that was pretty hard. So I'm not trying to brag about myself, but for myself, so far this has been no big deal. But the doctor did say that like only certain people can actually undergo something like this while being awake. They have to be in really good health and they need to uh, basically be able to handle the stresses of having that done because there's somebody in your face breaking bone. So um, the right individual can do this while they're awake. It says winter storm warning from 10 o'clock tonight until 10 o'clock tomorrow night. Four to six inches of snow with some ice. Hmm. Sounds all right. We will see. <laughs> Bring it on, man. Hopefully, I'll be able to get out tomorrow, play in the snow, maybe do a video. What I'm thinking is maybe like set up a tarp, have lunch, something like that. That would be all right. That'd be fun. Hmm. Yeah, I might just do that. Of course, depending on the conditions. They say four to six inches of snow and it might rain all day tomorrow. <laughs> That's how it works, right? That's how it works. All right. For now, that pretty much wraps it up. Thank you all very much for joining me for this trip. If you have any questions about the nose surgery and all that stuff, just shoot me an email. I will address those for you as best as I can. I'm not a doctor. I can't give any sort of advice or anything like that. But yeah, shoot me a message. Why not? Let's chat. I want to wish you all well. Strength and honor. Stay safe out there. Stay coronavirus free as much as possible, if possible. <laughs> And I will see you all next time. Strength and honor. Goodbye.